Good morning. Good still, morning. Still from Switzerland. New day. New destination. It's insane here. It's like in completely invaded, which is actually, I find it sad because I'm trying to get away from people. <laughs> and here's just, uh, it's super well known, famous and popular now. Well, we got a nice view. Let's take a look at this destination. Certainly steep curves. Of course, we're passing by fast, going up fast. So, it's the damn good workout for the legs. All right, having a short break. Fuck, it's hot. I'm also like this mountain goat. I like to move fast, so. <laughs> hmm. Um, but also see something at the same time, it's nice. Are you the tour guide? Yes. Um, I know these trails by heart because I love to hike here a lot. And now we're gonna come up sure. um, in 50 minutes to a super nice lake. Yeah? yeah it's big. One of these is meditating. Is it difficult to hike here? No, it's easy. I mean, it's not for everybody maybe, I don't know. Kind of steep, but it's a um, ready-made track and trail. So it's, it's, uh, it's not like home in Norway, we just have to climb everywhere. Unless you follow a path or a trail, of course. Yeah, you can certainly hear the jingle bells here. The huge bells. Nothing like getting away from the city and coming out here in nature and reconnecting. It's a good workout too, but it's um, really relaxing at least for my system. <laughs> so the vibrancy and the power of this nature is insane. We're approaching a pretty famous lake you probably have seen before on Instagram. Everybody posting about that. And uh, it's a beautiful place, it's the green green water. Here's a church or a chapel. Oh. And some people and they marry here. Oh wow. It's a special place to get married. Oh, well church is not something we need. We got nature.
something I've been talking about coming up here is that, you know, it's crowded by tourists. So what some people would feel is that when you come to a place like this, which is beautiful and it's nice that people want to get out in nature, they need that. Um, the challenge for some sensitive people is that um, they don't want to be around, they don't want to be in a flock of sheep, that's what they feel. You know, I know that I know that for some people, or for most people out there, they don't understand the thing of being sensitive or being an empath, uh, you know, being sensitive to energies. You know, and people give off energies, right? And um, you don't want to be around just anybody. And uh, of course, coming up here, that's a nice, peaceful place. Um, but I would say I understand a lot of the locals here in, in Switzerland, they are, they feel that it's being overcrowded and stepped over right and um, they felt the same in Iceland I remember that when we came to Iceland the first time I was there it was already a lot of talk about that the locals feel that tourists are just stepping all over the place and we know how humans are they fucking destroy everything they get in touch with you know I mean awareness and consciousness level on this planet is, is on the rise a lot of positive things have happened and good changes are happening but humans are really, it's a destructive plan, and humans are destructive in nature, warlike, dangerous. <laughs> so, and um, people with high, higher consciousness level, they don't want to be around that. I do understand that people in my inner circle that have reached a certain level of personal development, which brings you to another consciousness level, they want to separate from the old and from the chaos and from emotionally toxic people. To you watching this now, make a choice. You can make it, you come to a point in life, you can make a choice. You want to enter a room where you have a hundred thousand completely unconscious people. Or do you want to enter a room with a hundred thousand awake, smart and conscious people? Well, you probably want to enter whatever you match, right? So if you um, are completely unaware and you don't really care, um, you probably want to go and enter a room with other unconscious people. That's where you thrive the best. But for people that reach a certain level in life with awareness and, uh, and a, and a con conscious living, which means you have different life habits and you eat differently, you think differently, you, um, you enjoy the world as it's been created, you are aware of your own creation in life. You want to be in a room with a hundred thousand conscious people, right? I have a local friend here. She is about 50 years old, so, so she knows mountains since a long time. And um, she always complains now since COVID, like the last two, three years, how crazy it became. And they even started with uh, e-bikes on the trails, which is actually forbidden and um, all kind of things and letting all the trash in the mountains or sandals or whatever and she's actually publishing some things on facebook sometimes even with photos and stuff to show people how crazy they become and um, she said it's just so crazy how stupid people have become yeah, it's sad it's like after the pandemic people became more stupid so the level, I, it sounds harsh, but for me, I talk, you know, pretty rough and directly about how things are. And I have a lot of friends who have told me, you know, Johnny, it's like, it's like after the pandemic, it's like people, after the vaccinations, it's like people became even more stupid. I like your chocolate, by the way. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Have a good rest.